We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Bashir Gwandu, who is the Chairman of the Commonwealth ITU Group, the CIG. Dr. Bashir, thank you very much indeed for being with us thank today. Thank you. Thank you and good morning to you. Good morning. I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that you've been Chairman for the 54-member Commonwealth ITU Group, the CIG, since 2012. What are the key areas of focus and objectives of the CIG? Uh, CIG has been the uh, coordinating group for the Commonwealth when it comes to matters of ITU was set off in 2002 by the member states at the at the, at, 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 uh, um, plan potentiary conference in 2002. Why did they come up is because uh, the Commonwealth was not really coordinated at that time and we thought with 54 member countries, countries uh, to hand it is possible to coordinate not only to coordinate when it comes to matters that affect us and also matters that, have, I mean, basically uh, affect us as commonwealths and also how we can be, get the best benefit out for the commonwealth countries that are not particularly able to attend some of the meetings. So uh, we were, for, well, at that time, the idea was to have coordinated approach to f filling candidates for potential conferences. And then we went further to say, let's continue to have common objectives for each of the world telecom conferences, such as uh, WTSA, WTDC, and WRC, and the rest of them. And ever since we have had, so far we have had about three uh, chairmen, Malcolm Johnson was one, Bruce Gracie, and I took over from Bruce Gracie. Now ever since then, we have, what we have been doing is to set up objectives for the Commonwealth countries to achieve during conferences. And we have been able to achieve a lot of things, I mean, over, over, over the last uh, decade. Uh, uh, so for the Commonwealth, it, is, it, is, it has been, it has kind of unique uh, kind of uh, potential in that the Commonwealth uh, countries are distributed across four continents. And we are in four different regional groups, such as Africa, Africa Telecom Union, CTEL. We are also in CPT and we are also in APT. So each of those, we can sit down, take decisions, and then take those decisions into those groups and permeate them so, and promote the interests of the Commonwealth. Uh, briefly, how can CIG assist ITU member states uh, to facilitate ITU's work at world conferences like this one? And can you give me an example of how the CIG support the telecom industry? Fantastic question. Now, now one, uh, the question of how can CIG help to facilitate work for the, for the member states. Like I said earlier, we are in four different continents and in each of those we are in, uh, we are in the, uh, I feel like, uh, regional organizations. So we look at our own position and what we want to promote to, su to support a member of the Commonwealth country or members of the Commonwealth countries. Uh, when we agree, then we go back into where we have membership in those groupings, and then we promote those ideas. So when, does, when we do that, then what it does do, it harmonizes easily different uh, groups. So it helps the work of ITU to progress. I could remember at the last conf conference, uh, WRC, we took a decision at the uh, uh, Commonwealth uh, for allocation of 700 mega spectrum. Which, was, uh, which were able to deliver. And, and that, of course, started from us at the Commonwealth. Now, we uh, also were able to achieve something similar at the WTSA, where we had in Ghana, for example, when we came up with the decision to, one, support uh, universities to come to be, to, to be, if you like, to, 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 be, to be supported by the ITU, two, uh, to promote issues of conformance, Three bridge, bridging the digital, digital, I mean, sorry, digital, I mean, standardization gap. All these projects that are now key projects for discussion at the ITU actually emanate from the Commonwealth uh, in the meeting that we initiated in Ghana. We proposed them there, and they have now become reality because as the Commonwealth member states, we're able to formulate all the different regional groups and promote the same ideas. So we can help in the coordination between different regional groups. And we can also now help the industry. For example, the 700 megahertz I mean, allocation actually went facilitate help. I mean, if you like, help telecom industry today. Uh, second, also, we it, I mean, from the Commonwealth IT group, we also discuss issue of new spectrum allocation on the agenda 
uh, I mean, I mean 8.2, 8 which turned to be, turned out to be 1.1. Uh, and the, the 700 mega has now turned out to be 1.2. All those emanated from the commons. And therefore, commons is very important. And the commons IT group, I mean, uh, is very important. And even the, I mean, our partner organization, the CT, I mean, the CTO, the chief executive of CTO at one time was delivering a lecture at the British Parliament, and he mentioned CIG as the important uh, component for uh, international coordination. So we are, we are being able to deliver uh, to, to the benefits of our member states and indeed the, the, the telecom industry. Can you briefly describe the status of broadband development across the Commonwealth? Well, Commonwealth composed of member states that are in the first world as well as in, up to the level of the third world. So it, defi it, it varies. If you're talking about member, member, members of the Commonwealth such as Canada, United Kingdom and Australia, of course in the first world, the broadband development is, is, is basically, these are where the standards are set, literally. Now, there are also countries uh, down I mean, in the land that are actually struggling in terms of getting broadband access, such as island countries of the Caribbean. We have also countries in Africa uh, that are well behind in the deployment of Commonwealth. So, uh, we have a lot to do as a, as a Commonwealth member to be able to bridge that gap. But, uh, but, but, but obviously you can find all mix in the Commonwealth from right to from the bottom up to, la up to the top. Uh, there's a, a great uh, focus here on sustainable development. Uh, what do you think should be the next focus for regulators? Um, first, what do I want members to achieve? What I think we should be focusing on is, I mean, or are, one, broadband. When we're talking about broadband, we look at the broadband uh, access infrastructure services and applications. We look at, uh, when we're talking about infrastructure, we're talking about, for example, uh, satellite or fiber from the sea to the main cities, to, to the base stations, and to switches. And then even more important is the last mile. We need to have the ubiquity to be able to have access wherever you are, and therefore you need spectrum. That's why at the Commonwealth ITU group meeting, we propose spectrum allocation to the industry, that's why we are discussing at the WIC for 1.1 agenda uh, item. And in those, we are looking at how we can promote broadband services. That is one. Second, we have issue of disability. We need to support uh, our disabled uh, colleagues or, 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 or other, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, dis I mean, disability. We need to develop ICTs to support them because one day all of us will be disabled. If we get, if you don't, if you are not disabled now, when you get old, you need that support. So it is important to have strategies to support, to promote, um, I mean, I mean, ICT support that will, if you like, harness the potentials of the disabled uh, people. Then we also need to look at uh, issues of sustainable development in terms of climate change, which actually emanate from Commonwealth IT group meetings. Uh, it's important to, to, to support that. We need to bridge gaps. We need to support developing countries, such as the islands I mentioned to you. We have many islands uh, of the Caribbean that are not even able to come into the, me the meetings here. We need to continue to bring off plans and programs that will support them to, uh, to have, if you like, to be more competitive by providing them with, 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 with uh, 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 ways and means to get broadband connectivity. That is from the regulatory frameworks up to the development of infrastructure. So these are some of the things I want to see coming out of this meeting. And I think, uh, I mean, I mean the, that we are on, on course to that and we'll continue to promote that uh, activity. Dr. Bashir Gwendo, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching.